Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repents, which as you said in the previous episode, we did a fantastic little run as Jacob and Ezao. We only have two unlocks remaining, and then every single person's done. We're so close, but we're still going to carry on with the tainted characters. And as I said, I really want to get back to Jacob and Ezao because they're horrible and I'm sure people love watching them, but I, I do want to wait until the patch is out and they're a bit more fixed up. Um... I've only got Delirium and Beast to do as Eden, and I don't want to do either of them because the unlocks are horrendous. Uh, so let's go in as... Um, we did Judas. We finished off Judas. Nice one. Kane I want to get back to, but I think Kane's someone that I'm going to play on stream here. Let's go Tainted Isaac and try and get a mother run going as Tainted Isaac. He's always fun. We can get some good stuff happening um, and get an overpowered run. We've had some really good runs in, in the past. We did one of his as him recently, I think, fairly recently. But at this point, we're getting to the point where we have um, not a ton of characters left. So I'm just kind of going through it. You might see the same characters a few times in a row, but I feel like I feel like it's fine. It's fine. I know people are going to be requesting characters here and there, but yes, didn't really get what I wanted out of that. But I did manage to. Twist it around to actually get the bomb to land where I wanted it there. That was a little bit of a risk, but I did it. Ooh. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. I'm going to take Hemolacria because I, th I think Hemolacria is more fun. But that's a tough one. Also, Keeper's Sack there would be fantastic. But Cricket's Head is really good. Do you know what? For some reason, I didn't think that I'd explode the barrels. Of course it would, you moron. Of course it would. What makes you larger? Yeah, Hemolacry is just kind of more fun. We can get some cooler stuff going with it, I think. In my personal opinion, even though Cricket's Head is probably overall better, especially while we currently have quite low tiers. But this is just a whole hell of a lot of fun. So let's see what we can end up getting this floor. Um, bombing our donation machine for money to get Keeper's Sack is... An idea. Ooh, flat file right off the bat is fantastic here. Flat file is an item that I really, really like. It's going to allow us to get into every single um, secret room, not secret room, a cash room that we find, which is also really good. We got ourselves a reverse card. The reverse sun gains spirit of the night, 1.5 damage for the current uh, level turns red hearts into burn hearts, reverts when the effect ends. Let's just try it out. Let's just try it out. Does this now mean that we can lose our burn heart, though? Because that would be pretty bad. That would be pretty bad. Um, this card would be terrible if it doesn't revert and give you your health back. But we've got flight now, so we can go and get all this money and buy the keeper sack, which I feel is super, super useful. So we go in and we grab that bad boy there. And that gave us a bunch of money, which means we can buy that bad boy there. And I'm also going to buy this as well because it's going to give us even more stats. Stats are looking good. Everything's looking good. Yeah, but keep a sack. We've seen it before. It it has the potential to really pop off and give you a ton of stats if you have the money to buy stuff. Um, so if we can manage that, then we definitely will. Secret room is likely to be right here. I'll check for it. Oh no, it can't be because there was there was pots there, wasn't there? So I don't actually know where it's gonna be. Um I will, I will spend a little bit of time and do some bombing here. I think it's here. Yes. I was gonna say that, that seemed like the only place it could be. No spiked rocks. That's awesome. Um, good. Right. Second secret room's a little harder, but I will, I will try and get it if we can. I will try for it. Let's have a little look around. Um, could be either one of these two. Or here. Let's try here first. Yes. Honestly, it's risky, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. Lots and lots of flies. Seems like a, a real, real good laugh to me. But yeah, Hemolacria is probably, with the buff that it got in Repentance, probably one of my favorite items, synergy-wise, that you can get. Uh, so we get range, luck. We, we, I think this is better. I think this is better. And then we're good. We're gonna go down to out of the floor. Now we're not gonna be able to see what the other item is, so the other item's not gonna be as useful, but having having a third choice is nice. 
But remember, we have a little bit less damage than we just previously had. That Rainbow Poop could end up being quite useful for, um, what's it called here? Uh, blood donation machines if we get anything like that. So we'll keep an eye out. Oh, flat file. It just, it makes stuff like this room not feel so bad. Normally, this would feel awful. Be like, oh, cool, look. I got a completely useless room. Um, and it's cost me a whole spirit heart. But now, you can get in there easily for free. But we're going to be trying our best to get as much money as humanly possible. Let's hope we get a Mega Turd. You guys have seen it before. We've seen it once, I think. The the On Dross, there's a few rooms and it gets only four. It's very rare. Where there's an incredibly large shit that you can find that drops quite a lot of stuff. So if we can get that, that'd be nice. Uh, so that's a space bar item. That's already pretty good. Ace of Diamonds is nice. I think we just take the space bar item. Mainly because it's a decent space bar item. But also because, um, yeah, it doesn't count towards our eight item limit. So it's a little better off for us at the minute, really. But yeah, now when the shot's coming in towards us, we can use telekinesis to stop them. It's not super, super effective, but it does help out. Um, I think... Oh, this is kind of a hard one. Like, Humbling Bundle's so good, but Black Candle might be better. I think Black Candle's probably better. No curses. Gives us a black heart. That sounds great to me. Depends if we can get enough money to get it, so, uh, really. If not, I'm just going to buy the soul heart. But here we can shoot over the rocks nicely. Which is real good for us. I'm trying to shoot over the rocks at least. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh god, I'm slipping and sliding all over the place. Let's destroy our poops. Unfortunately, the poops do take a extraordinary amount of time to destroy with Hemolacria. Which makes it a little more annoying. It looks like we're going to get enough here. And we just got this. In fact, is it even possible for us to get this Tinted Rock? Oh, okay, we got it. And we got... Oh no, we got a secret room. We didn't get the Tinted Rock there. Ooh, Mega Chest. Mega Chest is good. I'm going to try one more time for this. Yes, we got it. Okay, we might be able to get to the Mega Chest, you know. Seven keys it requires. I'm willing to go whole hog on this one as well. I am willing. I actually think Humbling Bundle's better now that I think about it, because it means more money, which means more stats from Keeper's Sack. I think that that's the best way to think about this, really. So let's go back to our shop now and do some bombing and get a Humbling Bundle. Well, I realise that we're being very mean to our donation machine at the minute, but... Hey, her. God damn, it's gone down a few hundred already. Wow. Okay, we got enough. Humbling bundle, grab that. And then let's go and take a gamble on our chest. I mean, I say a gamble. We should get it. We should get it. One, two, three, four. Please be two items, by the way. Five. Yes, we got it. Okay, so the reason I want it to be two items is, as you can see... With two items, one of them's a secret room. So we're going to get this. And we are going to get Tractor Beam. Because the the normal items it gives you are just normal items. But the items they transform into, they roll into, are secret room items. So we managed to get ourselves Rune Bag. Which Rune Bag now is really good. Because it can give you souls. It can give you the soul ofs. Which I think is super good. So that's a really good haul right there. Uh, tractor Beam being very, very good for the extra, um... Ooh, just, that's kind of something a bit interesting. Um, the dips count as his familiars, uh, being in the room, so he can actually do the spinny attack. Fire Rate is more important, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with Fire Rate here, because the health is good, but the biggest problem with the health is we get a Trinket as well, and that's the only other advantage, and we don't need a Trinket, because we've got Flat File. So, we're gonna leave that. Uh, and head down to the next floor. We are doing Mother, right? Yes, we are. Cool. Um, let's keep her going. And, yeah, uh, I was good. What was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah, Tractor Beam and uh, is going to be really, really good for us here because it's just a huge amount of tears up and more accuracy and all that sort of good stuff. What's going on with no spirit hearts at the minute? More money here is incredible, though. Soul of Eve is also nice. I do want that, but we can come back for it any time, so... I use the Soul of Eve on the boss. Soul of Eve does a good amount of damage, so that'll be nice to have. I'm really hoping we get some sort of very synergistic um, 
thing for Hemolacria soon as well. We might not, but I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping we do. Go, my crows. Oh my gosh, this, this boss got murdered. We got health or health, so we just take health. We come in here. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Um, I think at the minute we want to get rid of that. So, yeah, um, that's fantastic. So, stairway is going to mean each floor we can buy stuff. Um, we'll double bomb this so we don't accidentally use our bombs on anything else. Uh, we're going to be able to buy stuff every floor. And then buying that stuff is going to give us stats. So, this is going to be incredible. Th this, this might end up being one of the most overpowered runs we get. If we get something like Holy Light... Oh, God, it's going to be good. I mean, we might as well bomb that. Going to give us a penny and bombs back. The flies are doing a great job right now as well from our rotten hearts, which is very nice. I, had, oh, God, I really do want to take piggy bank for more money. But I don't know what we'd replace it for. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. I think everything else we've got is a bit more important right now. Um, right, this is a tough one because what I was going to do is I was going to buy Smelter just to smelt flat file, but now I don't really want to do that because thinking about it, we need, oh no, we don't need our bombs. We've used our two bombs. We've used our two bombs. What the hell's going on here? Um, that's good stuff. Okay, we should be fine now. Should be fine now. So let's buy Smelter. Use it once. I do realize this might compromise my chance to buy an Angel Deal item, you know, but I, I think smelting flat file is really useful, and then we can just bomb our donation machine a bunch and get some more out of it. Good, good. Right. Fire. This is like one of the best rooms ever. Fire. Into here. Into here. Into here. Very quick. Uh, ear was. Oh, it doesn't work on this floor. Whoops. We might as well go and do our boss fight. It was very, very easy. Oh. What? Okay. That's not, that's not correct. <laughs> that was interesting. I was like, that's, that's not how that meant, to, that's meant to be. Yeah, that's definitely not how that's meant to be. Right. Oh, that's what I was looking for. More money. Easy peasy. And we'll definitely just grab this real quick for even more money. Great stuff. Oh, yes. This is, this is going well. This is going well. We're doing an extra room. On the off chance that I get a little bit more money. There we go. Let's get up to 45. Just in case there's three items for sale. I don't even know if three items for sale is possible. But having the having enough money to get three items seems like a pretty good idea. Right, then we go. We got our key uh, knife piece even. We've already bombed our door. We are good to go. We are good to go. Right. Let's head on through. Slightly annoying. Can we can we even hit this? We're having, I'm having a really hard time hitting this. I can't hit this barrel. <laughs> I had to hurt myself to hit it. That's some bullshit right there. Some bullshit. <laughs> God damn it, game. Right, stairway. Be my hero, baby. I fucking hate that they place this dude at the door. Also, neither item's worth it. I know that Genesis could be great, but I, I don't want to lose Hemolacria. Sorry, that one wasn't really worthwhile. That's going to happen from time to time, though. Yeah, Hemolacria is too good for me to pass up on. I mean, also, I'd have to pass up on Stairway as well. I don't think I want to pass up on Stairway, do I? Oh, hello, speedy boys. The flies that we have are what's really helping us right now. Hey, Sack of the Keeper. 
wasn't really great, but it gave us a good amount. Enough for me to be happy with. Uh, auto baby. I mean, we might as well take the random. Oil baby. I mean, it's better than health, but not very good. Look at this. Because we got such high base damage, our flies are doing such a good job. We're able to buy so many things. Go to our shop, see what we get. I haven't really been using telekinesis all that much, but it hasn't really hurt us that much either, so I don't mind. Anything more? Yeah, one more. Calm down, sir. Calm down. We get it. You're angry. We get it. You're angry. Good thing about um, telekinesis is it does charge very quickly. So we are able to block a lot of the shots. I did get hit there, so we didn't quite block that shot. Oh god, is that going to hit me? No. I thought it was going to get me stuck then. I, okay, we, we, can, uh, we can't hit those. I kind of should have expected that. Last wave, I think. Yeah. Get you. Telekinesis doing a good job. There we go. Dog food or the screw. I think the screw's better. I realise that we should be picking up health just to have the health. But we'll, we'll get round to that soon. We're doing fine for now. Oh, God. I almost walked into that fire. Do telekinesis. I love the new visual on telekinesis as well. It's so good. Pop in here. Anything worth buying? I mean, not really, but at the same time, also, yes. Because stats. Just because stats, you know? And we've got this much money. Kind of worth just buying stuff just for the stats, really. Actually, we can get that stat, can't we? Because we have the uh, thingy to stop all these being spiky. Easy. Right. Do you think there's much else we're looking for on this floor? This isn't mausoleum floor either. We don't have any bombs. I was going to find secret rooms. We don't have any bombs. I guess we just keep doing the rooms for uh, rune bag procs. Is kind of the idea at this point. Ow. And also possible healing. Because we are lacking that somewhat right now. And wooden chests. I do a wooden chest. So a little swan protector. Good stuff. Good stuff. I think we should keep the black rune on us. I mean, we might as well pop this. Actually, why not? Why would we now? Good stuff. Yeah, I think... Um, I think getting the Black Rune and Swarm Protector there is very worthwhile. Swarm Protector can give us uh, Eternal Hearts too if it manages to block enough projectiles, which is pretty cool. Nice. Don't know if it, this guy can do anything against the fires, but let's pretend it can. Extra keys. We are getting a lot of good stuff here. In fact, Black... What the hell just hit me? Oh, one of you guys. I didn't realize you were even in this room. Definitely need HP now. Damn, Sax can give HP, but we don't think we got anything. Damn, just a bunch of money. Money's great, but HP would be better. Yeah, Black Room's actually really good because we can go and void our item that we left in the boss room or anything like that. And uh, suck it up. Get some stats out of it. Why not? This has got to be secret room, right? Yeah, it just had to be. Two of clubs. Rather nice. 69 coins. And a nice 14 bombs. Let's go black rune in here. We got ourselves speed and damage. That's actually pretty good. We were kind of in dire need of speed. Damage, obviously not so much, but still very helpful nonetheless. Um, we are good to go, right? Yes, we are good to go. Definitely want to see if we can get some HP here. It, it'd help if any Tinted Rocks gave us a single soul heart. Quickly pop up here. 
Ooh, okay. We definitely want the soul locket, and we'll trade it for... I actually think we'll trade it for screw. That's fine. Um, and now we can buy a bunch of soul hearts, which gives us stats for picking up the soul heart. And it gives us stats for... Um, for buying the soul heart. Very good. There you go. This is this has been very good. We'll bomb you as well. Why not? Very worthwhile. Oh, now this is this is a pretty a pretty top tier run right here. Pretty top tier. I like it. I like it. Okay. Didn't think it'd do anything against those, but hey ho. I'll take the lemon party pill. We might as well use it in a room somewhere down here. Like that. Boom. Another card. Wait, Soul of Cain? I was like, that's not Soul of Cain. Uh, Stars card, Soul of Cain. Soul of Cain could be interesting. Won't use it in this room, obviously, because I'm going to have to break through all the doors, but... Troll Bomb. Uh, probably want to go use it in this room up here, maybe? One, two. There's only two there, so this is Secret Room. Really, really love that about uh, Red Key. We can get two rooms off of that one. We're in no rush to use it, so let's uh, take our time and, and check all of our available options here. And boom. Hey, thank God we just destroyed that fire. I got a nickel out of it. Good, good. And good, good. Only one room off of this one. We really want one with three possible red key rooms. I mean, I know that's a kind of a tall order. Big ask. The hell? How the hell do we do this room? An odd room. I'm guessing you don't have to have flight to do it, so there's got to be some sort of knack to it. Good. good. Oh, shit. I didn't see you guys there. Fuck. I walked right into you. Right. This one, we've got two red, uh, red doors off of as well, so that one's pretty good as well. That one's also decent. Golden bomb there. Mum's contact is kind of good here. But at the same time, what the fuck would we trade it for? Um, let's let's just grab it for for this and see how much of a tears down it is. Yeah, that's that's fine. The tears down is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Mum's contact is pretty darn useful. Oh, we got a uh, soul of Magdalene. Surrounds Isaac with a bubbling red aura. Um, for the current room enemies killed, drop red hearts. Not great, but good to know it exists. Let's remember to do our mother chase here as well. Might as well check what this is. Tower. Right. So for you. All of y'all. Oh, wait. Room's not over. Room's not over. So there's, there's two in this room as well. Two of spades. Oh my god. We're getting up there. Damn it. Oh, there's three on this room. There's three on this room. I know that this will like this likely isn't gonna be our um our thingy secret room, but I'm gonna do this anyways because it's three rooms. Three rooms is kind of I wouldn't say it's better than an ultra secret. But it's pretty good because it the, the the rooms could be anything. I know this time it hasn't worked out, but I still feel like that uh, the logic is uh, sound, even if we didn't actually get any payout from it. Also found our second secret room. Might as well bomb you and you. Right, just got to do the mother chase, and then we're good to go for this floor. Might as well bomb the mushrooms as we see them. Not going to be bombing every single rock here, but I'll bomb bits and bobs from time to time here and there. Like big clusters of rocks like this can be bombed. Cool, let's go. Right, let's not panic. We know how to do this now. We're a lot better at this than we used to be. Let's just take it, take it nice and easy. And it shouldn't be too bad at all. 
Apparently, someone gave me the tip recently uh, in the comments. Obviously, it'll have been like a month ago for you guys, but quite a while back now, get, got a comment and um, it said about if you stand still, mother cannot touch you unless she char in, like unless she's charging. That's a really good way to avoid taking damage is to just stand still to bear out a charge and then move, which I didn't actually know. I thought she just always was ominously coming towards you. Good. Good, good. Did we get a soul heart back there? We did. I'm going to go back for it. Wow. Very, very lucky. I, unfortunately, grabbing it didn't proc soul lock it because we didn't have soul lock it on us. That hit me. Okay. So, glad I got that soul heart because it's gone now. Nice protection for uh, me bombing myself. Um, I don't know where I'm meant to be going here. Is that right? I feel like that was right. Okay, it must have been because we, we, we've made it over. But that was an odd one. A very odd one indeed. This is a hard one to get around. But we're good. Okay. We lost one soul heart, but luckily it was a soul heart that we gained while in the fight, so... We can uh, chalk that one up as a victory. We got plenty of money for um, for the stairway. I'm really hoping the stairway pays off pretty soon. I'm sure it will. I'm sure we get, like, Godhead or something soon. Something pretty spicy. We'll see. We might as well carry that along with us. Why not? But yeah, the fact that this can drop the souls now is so good. Just remember to go to the right floor here. This is my worst attack for this guy. I hate it. it spawns a bunch of spiders. Which I can't be asked to deal with. Right. Deal with the devil. Sadly, we got to deal with the devil. I don't care about the deal with the devil at all. Um, this I'm going to take for the HP then put back down again. Just for the empty heart container. Keeps our health afloat. Um, and down we go. Almost went the wrong way once again. Almost, almost. But not quite. Stairway, here we come. Uh, what was it I was saying about Godhead? What was it I was saying about getting Godhead? Also, this guy stole my money again. Frick. Ooh. I've just had an amazing idea for the next floor. I should play those beggars to try and get items because they'll rotate into angel items, I think. I'm not 100% sure if that'll work, but I feel like I have to try that. Um, I think we're going to leave Mum's eye there. I think everything else we've got is pretty pivotal. Uh, Mum's contact, sorry. Humbling Bundle's going to keep us going for uh, this. Everything else, yeah, we'll keep. Ooh, the um, thingy jar is really good here. Obviously, the herming and everything is going to be great with, uh, with what we've got going on right now. Right, so we're going to grab this because it's going to give us HP. We'll grab that back. I'm sorry, Fire Rate. I know that you're not great right now, but... Oh, this is so good with the herming everything. Tractor beam might not be the best thing to have, but I really need it for the fire rate, to be honest, more than anything. I hate this room with a passion. God damn it. Algiers is great here. Thank you for full mapping. Go back this way. Arcade down here. We should check the arcade. Nice one. Sadly, nothing great. We'll get some extra money out of these guys, though, I guess. Oh, uh, also, something really cool. Animated costumes. Look, the Godhead Eye. It blinks now. Uh, one of the mods that I'm using, animated costumes. It adds animations to some costumes that don't normally have it, and one of those is Godhead. Now I've got a little blinking eye on our head rather than just the normal regular eye. Pretty cool stuff, right? 
pretty cool stuff. Oh my god. These guys were definitely meant to get killed by the brimstone flies. Thank god we got good damage. Um, unfortunately, neither of those matter, so we'll just grab this. Don't care about that either. Luckily, it doesn't really matter what we get, because we're going to get an angel deals everywhere anyways. Siren Tongue, I mean, I guess we'll carry it in case we had a good familiar, like an Incubus or something. Nice. And we are away. Let's go get our secret rooms and stuff. This is such a cool run. I love it. Such a good mother run. Hello. You've died. I don't know what you died to then, but you died. Okay, our holy car's gone. You're dead. Uh, ooh. 4.5 volt is something I definitely think we should try and keep with us. I don't know what to trade it for, though. How much do we lose with tractor beam? 0.22. It's a kind of significant amount, but I feel it'll actually help us in the long run, so. Because we'll be able to, like, home in a bit better. Don't know why I'm trying to press this. It really doesn't matter, but. I feel like 4.5 volt could be really good if we get the right stuff. Ooh, there's three of the same pill here. Ah. Oh. I had to try it. There was three of the same pill. You can't ignore that. Actually works out perfectly for this room. Come on now, this is a bit ridiculous. Why can't I help kill this bishop? Why is that tier height so mental as well? Okay, um... I think we take the eternal d6 here. Mask of Infamy is also really, really good. I think at this point we can get rid of Humbling Bundle. So let's uh, get rid of Humbling Bundle for Mask of Infamy. We need a, a spacebar item that we can use during a boss fight, really. Soul of the Forgotten there. Do you know what? Soul of the Forgotten, you are somewhat useful to me. Come over here. Oh no, wait. I can't I can't play the sack room. Cause I've got um flat file. Whoopsie. My bad. Kinda stupid of me. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. Right, what's in here? Just that. Okay. Oh also 4.5 volt has a costume too, look. There's a little zappy zap on our head. Cool stuff. Uh, what floor are we on at the minute? Mausoleum 1? Okay. I'll keep my money for now, then. I'll keep my money for now. <sighs> I don't know. Should I keep... I, I'm, I'm actually kind of thinking maybe I don't keep 4.5 volt. Maybe, maybe I'll just stick with this. 4.5 volt's good, but, like... Is it really that necessary? Because, like, I actually think Humbling, Humbling Bundle will do, a, do us a bit better along, in the long run. Like, we're going to go back and buy some more stuff, I think. I hate this boss. But I know, I love this boss. But I'm bad at it, is what I meant to say. Um, Take Consolation Prize. It gives us a point twelve fire up. That's not really enough, is it? Salvation is so good. Um... I think now we actually do get rid of Humbling Bundle for Salvation. Salvation's so cool. It's an item I haven't had yet either, or at least had properly. Um, what it does is it puts this little aura around us. When we stand near enemies, it just... It does some really cool shit. Um, let's just buy that. Grab that. And then... Do I want to take this? It's a pretty big tears up at the end of the day. I kind of think I should. It's like a 20% tears up. Rune bag? What else? What else could I get from rune bag? 
I think I'm going to stick with what I got here and reroll these two. We got placebo or tarot reading. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Hard decisions, but got to go for it. Right. Down we go. We're already out with yes. And salvation, the ring gets bigger the more hits you take per floor as well. Resets the end of every floor, but still very useful. Right, so I have an idea. Oh, Trisag is great for this, I think. Um, we take Trisag. Let me just see how this works. Yeah, it does work the way I thought it did. It just looks very weird. We definitely buy that. We definitely buy that. Maybe get rid of Mask of Infamy for this. Yeah, so play this guy until he pays out. Unless it costs us an insane amount. I don't want to go below 30, really. He pays out. Yes, it does. It didn't. It's, it's not useful in this case, but look. It cycles between his item and an angel item. I think that's super cool. Yeah, Mask of Infamy is good, but I feel like what we've got going on right now is going to be a bit better for us. Excuse me, excuse me. How am I meant to, how am I meant to not get hit there? I mean, move out the way earlier would be a good idea. Oh, little horn, little horn. I'm going to get rid of the soul heart thing. It's a little science horn. Little horn's such a good item. Such a good item. If it works with this, it might not, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it will. Cast Eye or Papilla Duplex. No, thank you. Oh, no, there you go. It works. It works. Strange Attractor. Oh, God. I wonder how weird this is with Strange Attractor. Oh, wait. It drops all the stats. Okay. We've got to keep this now. I was going to maybe trade that away, but it drops all of the stats. That's interesting to know. You don't get to keep the stats. I thought you would. I really did. This floor gets a lot easier when you've got um flat file. Good. good. Nice, nice. Right, what's in here? Do you know what? I'm just gonna bomb through that. I can't be asked going around. That is Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly's very good. Block contact and projectile damage. <laughs> this is so difficult. I'm going to go for protection over damage. Jelly Belly's too good. I'm re-rolling it. Euthanasia. Oh, Euthanasia would be so good. This is so difficult. Oh my god. Euthanasia would be so cool. Maybe I get rid of Little Horn for Euthanasia. Oh, stair. Do I get rid of Stairway? Because I've only got one floor of it left, really. Like, what else am I going to want? Oh, this is tough stuff. Let's go find our shop first, and we'll see how much money we spend in our shop. If we spend nothing, then we should probably stick with um, the Stairway. God damn, this is this this character's so fun, but it's so hard to decide what you want to keep. I mean, I don't know how this'll work. It it worked exactly the way I thought it would. Nice. And champion belt as well. Ooh, birthright. We need to take birthright. More item spaces. Now we can take what the hell we want. Now we can take whatever the hell we want. That worked out really well. <laughs> okay, grab that. Did we leave anything else about? I feel like we left something else over here. Let me go find out what it was. We, what's in this room? Stranger tractor. 
Mm. Friend Retractor could be worth it. It's kind of hard to say. I think I left a uh, tractor beam in here, didn't I? Oh no, I th left Soul Locket in here. Definitely take Soul Locket. Okay, I'll, I'll leave Stranger Tractor. I'll stick with the damage. No, no one, no one. It's wacky. It's it's weird. It's weird. I feel like I gotta take it. I feel like I gotta take it. Yes, because it sucks them all into it as well. It's, it's great. Right, to the boss. I feel like I should bomb this. Death isn't really worth it, but hey-ho. Right, here we go. We got our knife. Good. Uh, negative. Look at that. Oh my god, that's so cool. Another rotten heart there. That's a bit spooky, but hey her. Right, let's go. Oh, this has been mental. This has been absolutely mental. Stairway. Circle of protection. Circle of protection is really good. It's really good in the mother fight as well, actually, specifically. I actually do think we take it over uh, Stranger Tractor, because it's Stranger Tractor is going to get us hit, isn't it? At the end of the day. We just know it is. Glyph of Balance. Glyph of Balance is so good. It could give us so many soul hearts. Oh my god. I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay. So we go like that to buy that. Oh my god, do I take Glyph for anything? I think I take it for the Soul Locket at this point, just because the Soul Locket's kind of becoming more worthless. Even though the Soul Locket stats do seem to dissipate, I think it's okay. Glyph and Circle of Protection should help us a lot here. I should have rerolled Soul Locket. I do have realized that, but it's okay. But yeah, now we should get money drops from loads of rooms. Good, good. Just kill things quickly. The Herming will take care of most things. I've not seen Euthanasia trigger yet, which is a little bit disappointing. I have to say. I was hoping by now we would have seen a few of those go off. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> Salvation being awesome there. Nice. Angel deal here. A tears up. Honestly, Euthanasia's been doing nothing here. I feel like a tears up is pretty worthwhile. Because it's not the tears up that it actually gives. It's the fact that we're going to be firing tears like in weird sync. Spirit sword on top of all of this would be dumb, I think. I think we just reroll and see what we get. Revelation. I think we should grab that. Thank you. I'm sorry about that, but I'm taking revelation. It's way better. And down we go. Oh my god, this run has has been pretty mental. Pretty darn mental. And we can get a bunch of HP if we want it as well. Honestly, do we, we do we even really care? Let's just bomb you and see what we get. A soul heart, of course. Um I don't think we care. I think we grab that. And do you know what? Just so we can do that. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. This run is quite overpowered now. This run is like almost exclusively insanely good angel items.
I like that. It's like we can either fire revelation, kill everything, or not fire revelation and kill everything. Either way, everything's gonna die. Or we can not fire at all and use salvation and kill everything. No matter how we go about it, everything dies. Anyways, into the fight. <laughs> Tackler protection is going to help us with this. I love doing that. It's so cool. <laughs> Look at it. Easy first phase. Very easy first phase. Circular protection, please save me. Oh my god. There's just lasers everywhere. It's nothing but lasers as far as the eye can see. You're so dead, dude. You're so dead. Don't know why you're trying to survive this. There you go. Oh my god. Yes. That was so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. We unlocked a dice bag. And there you go. What a fantastic little run to end off Tinted Isaac. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.